Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I would have got out in the shop a little earlier tonight. It's Tuesday, but uh, I thought I had a meeting. So uh, we, of uh, our Turner's Club, where we meet, another Turner's Club has arranged a meeting there, uh, and they're bringing in, um, and, and I, I can't remember the person's name off the top of my head, but bringing someone in to do a demonstration, and then they'll have some of their products for sale. And it's the 27th of June, and for some reason I was thinking it was today. So I, I hung out in the house right after work, you know, and then I grabbed a bite to eat, and I shot over there, and I'm sitting in the parking lot, and I was about 20 minutes early, and nobody else is showing up. <laughs> so I pulled out the old phone, and I looked at the calendar, and sure enough, uh, I have got the wrong date. So I uh, just came back home, I'm out in the shop, and what I'm gonna work on tonight is I am going to attempt to turn the most dangerous blank of the bunch, the debit card blank. I think this is gonna be a tough one, um, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll keep you posted. I'm working on this gift card blank, and uh, I did a little turning, but uh, turning wasn't working, uh, so I resorted to using some sandpaper to clean this up. And the issue with turning is it's so easy to catch under the edges of these cards and just peel them off. I mean, if you look at my bench here, you can see all the little pieces that I peeled off. Um, so I've gone back to using the sandpaper, and I've just about got them into round, and we'll start cleaning them up and shaping them once we do. My gift card blank is finally shaped. Uh, now what I need to do is run the micro mesh across it to kind of clean it up a little bit, polish it, and we'll see about getting a CA finish on it. Wow. <laughs> I uh, have been working on this uh, gift card blank for quite a while. I had trouble with it right off the get-go. Uh, what happened is uh, the tool that I was using would catch the edge of a card and literally peel it up. That shearing action, the epoxy didn't even matter. I had this thing soaked in uh, epoxy. Uh, and then, of course, I was using a little CA glue here to kind of help out, keep things together. I put it back together probably three times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then I resorted to sandpaper. I went to 40 grit, 60 grit, 50 grit, you know, and then uh, from there I was able to jump up to my 120 and, and uh, you know, on down through to 600 grit. And I've got it sanded up. Now what I'm ready to do is uh, take a little micro mesh. I'm going to try to polish it a little bit with the micro mesh because it's got some fine scratches in it. And uh, then we're going to try to put a CA finish. This one was a pain. <laughs> Let me show it to you. It's kind of tough to see. The light is really sort of uh, bleaching it out a little bit, but uh, there's the blank. <sighs> Let me do a little micro mesh and I'll come back and show it to you. Guys, I'm done. Well, I'm burning up out here. I didn't turn the AC on tonight. It's only about 85 and I thought I could get by without it. I didn't think I'd be out here that long. I've got the pin. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it is not up to par of my normal workmanship. Uh, simply because the medium was extremely difficult to work with, but I got it. I proved to myself I could do it, and that's what I needed, and uh, I'm happy. So I'm going in now to edit some video. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You have a great evening, and I'll talk to you again real soon.